So now I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating a stack. A stack is just a group of images. And the reason we group them is so we can clean up our catalogs and make them a little bit more compact. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across here and I can see I've got a whole series of Lucy running around in the park. So I'm gonna come up to the first one and I'm gonna click on that to select it. And now with shift held down, I'm gonna come down to the last photo and click on that. That's allowed me to select all the photos within a row. Now that I've got them selected, I'm gonna make a stack of them by going up to the edit menu and coming down to stack. Now within here, there's quite a few options, but at the moment, the only one we need is stack selected photos. You can see the keyboard shortcut there, control, alt, and S. So now we have a stack of photos. You can see here, there's now a, quite a different preview over this stacked group of images. We have a little white background. We also have a stack indicator. So this little icon, if we hover over that, it says it's a stack. We also have this little open arrow down here. And the advantage of that is I can come and click on that at any time and expand the group of images. I can access them and work on them as normal. If I hit this little arrow here at the end of the stack, I can close them down again and they're all back neat and tidy in order. Now I'm gonna open that up once again by clicking the little arrow here. And then I'm gonna look at my images and I'm just looking at them. I've decided that that first image isn't really the image that I like as a good preview to tell me what's actually behind the stack. What I'm wanting to do is make this image here, which is a bit more descriptive and visual, I wanna make that the first image within my stack so that when I close this stack, it appears showing this image and I can distinguish quite easily at a glance what is actually inside the stack. So I've got that selected. Again, I'm gonna to come to the edit menu. I'm gonna go down to stack and then we have an option down the bottom here to set as top photo. So this is the option that allows you to set this photo as the key photo for the stack. So I'll do that. You notice that's now move the image to the top of the stack there. If I minimize the stack by clicking on the little arrow, you can see that's now the image that shows me what's underneath the stack. If I click on these images here by selecting them once again, coming down to the last image, holding down shift, so I select all the images within a row. I can also access the stack menu by right clicking, coming down to stack, and there's all the option as previous, so I can stack the selected photos. We do have some other options as well. If we decide that we no longer want to stack, like these images here, I want to bring them back into individual photos, I can right click, or go to the edit menu, come down to stack, and then I can choose unstack photos. Press OK to that, and there are all my photos again. They're all individual photos. There's no longer a stack there.